We are going to analyze the energy stored in an LC circuit using a capacitor in a breadboard and the inductor from our test circuit. So first we need to connect these two in series by connecting this side of the inductor to the positive of the capacitor, which is the longer pin, and this side of the inductor to the negative of the capacitor. So now we have an LC circuit in series. Next we want to connect the DC power supply, which is just this battery pack, with the positive to the positive of the capacitor, and this is very important, otherwise we might destroy the capacitor. And the negative, which I've got in black, to the negative of the capacitor. <coughs> Finally, we want to measure the voltage across the capacitor using the oscilloscope. So I'm going to connect the probe to the positive side and the reference to the negative side. Now on the oscilloscope, to be able to see this signal, we want to have the volts per division set at two volts and the time per division set to 250 milliseconds. And here it's important that we have our zero volt signal at the zero on the axis. Once we've done that, we can switch on our power supply and we can see the voltage across the capacitor increase. And now what we want to do is we want to turn off the power supply and pause the oscilloscope by pressing the run slash stop button. And you'll get a signal like this. Okay. Now we can adjust our oscilloscope settings to zoom in on our signal and position it so that we can read the output. Okay. Now to measure the period of these oscillations, we want to use the cursor settings. Uh, set to time, and then using these positioning knobs, we can set our first cursor at the peak of the first oscillation here, and we'll set the peak of the, uh, the second cursor to the peak of this oscillation here. So what now we are measuring is the time for one, two, three oscillations, which is 110 milliseconds. So I'm going to record that in the lab book. 3T equals 110 milliseconds, plus or minus one millisecond for the uncertainty. <coughs> now I'm going to measure the decay of the peak voltage on the capacitor using the voltage cursors. So I need to switch the cursor to voltage. And the second cursor we can leave at zero, or as close to zero as we can. And the other cursor we want to set to measure the peak of the oscillation here. So our first peak is at 3.44 volts. And I'll record that in the lab book. And the second peak is at 1.52 volts. And so on to record the peak voltage for as many peaks as we can. Using this, we can uh, find the oscillation frequency of the LC circuit, and we can also calculate the inductance of the inductor in the test circuit.